This is your WMDX Daily News Roundup for Mad Radio 92.7 FM and 1580 AM in Madison. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Vice President Kamala Harris is back in Wisconsin today. She's talking to black voters in Milwaukee about the economy. Black voter turnout in Wisconsin was only 58% four years ago, and this year only 14% think the economy is doing well. People are still struggling. People are still looking to, to, to get the things that they need. Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley speaking with WISN-TV's Up Front. The latest Marquette Law School poll shows only 37% of Wisconsin's black voters say they feel very enthusiastic about voting in November. If that switch doesn't happen and that enthusiasm um, gap isn't kind of made up, probably around like Labor Day or so, then I think folks are in trouble. Hmm. Democrats. Yeah. Community organizer Angela Lang speaking with WISN TV's up front. The Washington County District Attorney will look into possible charges against State Representative Janelle Branchin. The Wisconsin Election Commission accuses her of an illegal scheme to steer $40,000 to Adam Steen, who ran against Assembly Speaker Robin Voss two years ago. Four other Wisconsin prosecutors have declined to take the case. A Wisconsin-based company is recalling several cream cheese spreads sold at Aldi stores due to potential salmonella. Schreiber Foods of Green Bay and Aldi say the 8-ounce containers have a sell-by date of August 30th through September 22nd. The companies say they should be thrown out or returned. Guaranteed income programs are controversial in some circles, but research shows they're working. Rachel Barnard is with a nonprofit that facilitates these programs around the country. The money comes with no strings, but research shows it gets spent on necessities. Like housing, food, utilities, transportation, child care. Madison had a privately funded guaranteed income program in 2022 and 23. The Green Bay Packers will open the season with a game in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and host a game on Thanksgiving night. The NFL released its regular season schedule last night. The Packers will play at least five games on primetime national TV. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. This is news from WMDX Madison. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson. Even though the pro-Palestinian encampment has been removed, some faculty at UW-Madison have launched a protest of their own. Members of the faculty senate have penned a letter saying they condemn how protesters were treated on May 1st when police moved in. The letter claims of all the staff who participated, only faculty of color were arrested. The resolution, if adopted, would ask university leaders to apologize and help clear the records of students and staff who face disciplinary action or arrest. The Faculty Senate will take up the resolution at a special meeting May 20th. Madison police are searching for a woman who hasn't been seen in more than a month. Gaidania Centeno Cruz was reported missing this week, but nobody's heard from her since April 10th. Police say she was last seen April 6th in the 6700 block of Schrader Road. If you think you may have seen her, call Madison police. There won't be any new vape shops coming to one Dane County city anytime soon. Monona has banned new e-cigarette stores from opening for the next six months. Milwaukee has done the same thing. A retailer is considered a vape shop if 10% or more of its products are vape accessories. Over these six months, the city council will take a look at zoning e-cigarette stores and look at things like whether they should be specific distances away from schools and whether they then need to change some ordinances. After years of waiting, students in Monroe got to be the ones to break ground on a new high school. The whole project began by talking to families and staff about priorities eight years ago. The school board learned it would be cheaper to build a new school than to renovate the current one. It's taken multiple votes, pandemic delays, and a lawsuit. And in 2022, residents approved an $88 million referendum to pay for the project. School board president Rich DePrez. We're beyond excited to reach this milestone. Construction is expected to take about two years. This weekend is Stoughton's Sit and Demai Festival. The celebration marks Norway's Constitution Day. The town has strong Norwegian roots. There's food, drinks, Viking competitions, performances, a canoe race, parades, the list goes on. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. At one time, three-quarters of the people who lived in Stoughton spoke Norwegian. 
If you loved summer camp as a kid, you can now enroll in a grown-up version. This one even has beer. Aldo Leopold Nature Center is hosting adult summer camp to raise money for its kids' environmental education programs. There's capture the flag, fort building, food trucks, and drinks from five Madison breweries. Camp Aldo is Saturday, August 24th, and ticket sales are now open. A dog with Wisconsin ties won big honors at the Westminster Dog Show. Mercedes is a four-year-old German shepherd, and her handler, Kent Boyles, lives in Edgerton. Mercedes won best in the herding group, then won reserve best in show. That's basically second place overall. Sage, a miniature poodle from Texas, won best in show. And that's what you need to know. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson, and this is WMDX News. The Brewers bombard the Pirates. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. Pittsburgh jumped out to an early 1-0 lead. Then the Brewers turned it into a home run derby. Milwaukee with five batters with home runs on the way to a 10-2 victory over the Pirates to win the series. It started with William Contreras and his shot to right field in the third. The Brewers' Joey Ortiz. Yeah, usually William is the one to open the floodgates if anyone. Uh, he's hitting extremely well right now. And so when he gets going, it's, it's pretty fun. Brewers manager Pat Murphy. You know, I was pleased with today's effort at the plate. You know, Ortiz, sneaky, has been good against righties and lefties. And Churio looks like he's gaining some confidence. Contreras is out of his mind. Like, it's epic what he's doing. NFL schedules are out, and the Packers will be playing on Thanksgiving, this time in prime time at home against the Dolphins. College basketball, UW-Green Bay introducing Doug Gottlieb as their new head basketball coach. Places like Wisconsin, those are the places that are special, and it really feels like home. Like, Wisconsin's a place where people still wait for you at the airport. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Are you ready to stream and save at the same time? Comcast wants to make it happen. The mega corporation will bundle Apple TV, Netflix, and Peacock and is calling it Stream Saver, just $1,000 a month. This comes on the heels of another bundling announcement made last week by Warner Brothers Discovery and Walt Disney Company, which will offer a bundle consisting of Disney+, Plus, Hulu, and Max. The New York Post reports that more details about the Comcast bundle, including prices, will be related later this month. Try to keep all that straight. In some ways, I miss having just three channels. Tom Brady Roast is the gift that keeps on giving to the tablet. Brady, considered the GOAT when it comes to quarterbacking football teams, is not when it comes to understanding being roasted. Brady says he regrets doing the roast because it affected his kids. Comedian Nikki Glaser said everyone agreed Brady's kids were off limits, but Brady failed to consider the term broadcast and that kids might still somehow see it. Next time, the GOAT might want to research the words roast and television. When a show becomes a hit, it's easier to get big stars to sign on. Such is the case with Only Murders in the Building, which is about to launch Season 4. Entertainment Weekly reports that a new trailer was released on Tuesday, which showcases all the new faces, which include Melissa McCarthy, Zach Galifianakis, Eva Longoria, Meryl Streep, and Molly Shannon. How's that for star power? It also doesn't hurt that people want to work with comedy legends Steve Martin and Martin Short. And Selena Gomez isn't too shabby either. Only Murders drops on Hulu August 27th. Are you ready for more Terminator? The franchise's latest installment is an episodic animated series set in Tokyo in 1997. Entertainment Weekly reports the show will have more of an emphasis on the horror genre from the first two feature films. Head writer Matson Tomlin says the series will have all original characters and will take place just before Judgment Day. Episodes for the show will drop August 29th at 3 a.m. You can have the entire season completed by lunchtime. Need a new movie to watch? Here's a Schwab emendation. Whether you're a wrestling fan or not, you might like The Iron Claw, a heartfelt story based on true events involving the Von Erich family. The film received some consideration during Oscar nomination season last year. Zac Efron gives a really good performance as Kevin Von Erich, the soft-spoken second oldest son who lost all four of his brothers, three to suicide. The brothers were all wrestlers who were pushed into the field from their domineering wrestler father. The Iron Claw is available to stream on Max. Reese Witherspoon will produce a prequel series to Legally Blonde. Elle, based on Witherspoon's character Elle Woods from the movie, will be set during Woods' high school years. Entertainment Weekly says Witherspoon's company Hello Sunshine and Amazon Prime will co-produce. A third installment of the movie franchise has been rumored for the last few years now with Mindy Kaling, with Mindy Kaling mentioned as the potential writer. For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Peach Wamba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. A mix of clouds and sunshine today with a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms by late morning through early to mid-afternoon. Our high today, 73. The wind south at 5 to 15. Tonight, partly cloudy, 53. Tomorrow, sunshine, 80. By Saturday, sunshine with a high of 81. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 58. That's your WMDX Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts.
Find more news at mad.radio.